I haven't done a blog for quite a while, probably quite a few years now. Um, the reason for blogging today is to share a little bit of information. Basically, as most of you know, I was diagnosed with a very aggressive form of breast cancer in September in 2012. That was um, treated with uh, 17 months worth of treatment, radiotherapy, chemotherapy, immunotherapy. And then um, I went back to work for a year. And then in September uh, 2015, I was very unwell and I was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, which is um, stage four, not curable, lungs, liver, crap. Um, thought I was dying. Well, I probably was actually. Um, had treatment for that at the Christie's again and I was ticking along nicely for probably about a year and a half but then in January 2017 I was diagnosed with 12 uh, brain tumours. Now that was the most devastating part of my entire life um, and I thought that's it, it's curtains for me because basically once it spread to the brain um, breast cancer is the prognosis is not good and treatments don't work so well especially if you've got more than one and I had what 12 tumours so I started on treatment um, I had stereotactic uh, radiation to my head targeted um, radiation uh, metal frame screwed on and gamma rays about 200 of them into the centre of each tumour that dissipated out leaving the normal brain tissue alone. That works brilliantly. I'm not saying the whole brain doesn't work because it works really really well as well and you can always have this as a mop up but people don't understand that they can have gamma knife treatment for um, brain tumours um, with breast cancer. They're not always given the choice but it can be used either before or after whole brain radiation and it's always worth knowing about and asking about pushing as well because they told me no and I got it. Okay so I had that treatment then again in October later in 2017 and also again in June of this year. Each date seemed to be either Mark's birthday or wedding anniversary or you know crazy dates. Um, <laughs> let's hope you know uh, they, they don't come back for a while anyway. Uh, the reason for the video is to share some information as I said. Um, I also go to a clinic in Harley Street and I get off-label drugs. Now these drugs are repurposed, they're normally used for things like diabetes, treating worms, antibiotics, but these can help to slow the metabolism of cancer down and they work pretty much by uh, the metformin reduces the amount of insulin in the blood so that um, helps to starve uh, the cancer and changes the way it metabolizes and it also metformin also affects stem cells now stem cells are what proliferate and grow to grow new tumors and a lot of chemos don't sort of affect the stem cells so they get rid of the tumours but you still got these stem cells going around and these stem cells then develop again so the cancer keeps coming back coming back so that obviously will help with that then the mebendazole that helps with angiogenesis the formation of the new blood vessels so that is, is another way in which it attacks the cancer and the antibiotics and then the statins as well they all have an, a different effect on the growth cycles and metabolism of the cancer. Um, the Care Oncology Clinic in London do not advertise. Um, these drugs will work on all cancers. The research is looking good. There's lots of research ongoing, but unfortunately there's not enough for it to be included in cancer care at the moment. It might be included in the future, but it's not included yet. Well, I ain't waiting till the future because I want a future. <laughs> so I decided to go and get these drugs the consultation was about £300, the drugs are about um, £60 for three months. It's an absolute bargain, I think, it's keeping me well. Admittedly, I have had a few problems with um, chemotherapy that I was, it was very toxic for me and um, poisoning my lungs and my right lung filled up with fluid and I nearly had to come off the chemotherapy, which I believe is working amazingly well alongside these drugs. 
Um, I'm on a really, really good new drug called Cadsila, which is a mixture of Herceptin, which goes straight to the HER2 cells, and it's got a chemotherapy attached to it, just, just that releases when it hits the cancer cells only. So I think attacking cancer from all areas is the way to do it, and I just think the more the merrier, because it's multifaceted, and just hitting it with one drug or one treatment doesn't necessarily work. Um, I think there's a lot of things involved, healthy lifestyle, losing weight, um, then attacking it from different angles with drugs. But obviously in hospitals, they can only give you one drug at a time because they want to see what's working and what's not working. Or, or when I say one drug at a time, they might not give too many different treatments at a time. But um, they weren't that happy that I was going to Harley Street and originally. But um, something's working really well for me because I've outlived now my um, expected sort of time, if you like. And as you can see, I'm, I'm not looking too bad really at the moment. That's attributed as well to going on to steroids to prevent the side effects of the chemo though, because they were pretty rubbish. But with the steroids uh, uh, helping me to get through chemo, and with the help of the drugs from the Care Oncology Clinic, I think that's what's really made a massive, massive difference anyway. So that's just a little bit sort of fat to chew on and um, get your ass down to the Care Oncology Clinic in London in Harley Street if you've got cancer. That's my advice anyway. Bye.